This story starts early, very early. So far, the day had been glorious. So far, the sun had kept his hat on, and so far, the grumpy cloud had kept its distance. So far, so good. Rhubarb had already been out and about for a bit of a job. He started the early birds, bumped into a couple of bumblebees, collected the milk from the step, and hung up his jogging boots and his thinking cap, all before breakfast. Now, he thought to himself, a bit early for marlebone jellies. I know, baked bones on toast. Mmm, delicious. And so, with his heart set on breakfast, Rhubarb set about making toast. Ah, no bread, he groaned. No bread, no toast. Out in the garden, Rhubarb woke custard. Any bread, he asked. A couple of stale slices will do for toast. Bread? Do you realise that I was about to tuck into a whopper of a chocolate coated fish and you interrupt me? Bothering me over a couple of slices of bread. Mm. Custard grumbled on, but Rhubarb had already gone and was digging up his own phone. Poodle yes. Princess, some of them alone, they'll have bread, he mumbled to himself, but there was no answer from either of them. Standing under the old conker tree, Rhubarb could hear his computer in the shed, singing to itself. I could make some bread! Yes! Rhubarb said excitedly, and his new idea made him feel as warm as toast. The computer would not start. Whirr and slump, whirr and slump was all the computer would do when Mouse walked in. Aha! Just the chap, beamed Rhubarb. And knowing which side his bread was buttered, Mouse was up on the mouse wheel in a jiffy and jogged the computer to life. What are you going to make? Mouse asked. Toast, Rhubarb replied. You need bread for that, Mouse offered. Aha! Ooh. Here we are, bread making. OK, you can stop that now. Look, mix this, do that, wait. It's easy, beamed Rhubarb, and the two set off for the kitchen with the recipe for bread. In the kitchen, they mixed the bread, did that. Once done, Rhubarb and Mouse settled into deck chairs for the most important part of bread making, the waiting. I thought you were supposed to be making bread, not loafing around in the sun. Custard whined from the fence. We are making bread, Sweet Mouse. We are at the most important waiting stage. Oh, there you are. I've oft told you that waiting was an important part of life. Custard, mark my words, if you don't stop your half-baked ramblings, we will have you on toast this afternoon. So far, so good. The timer had pinged, the waiting was over. My baked bones on toast breakfast will have to be afternoon tea, announced Rhubarb, as he and Mouse set off up to the house, when suddenly a window broke, then another. The door burst off the hinges, and the dough boiled over from the chimneys and tumbled down the roof like hundreds of little bread roll hailstones. The recipe said it would rise if we waited, squeaked Mouse. Yeah, it's supposed to rise up, not take over, said Rhubarb, as the chair stepped away from the house and the dough swallowed everything in its greedy path. Then it stopped. Mouse stared. Custard stared. Rhubarb stared. I didn't need this, he whispered. <laughs> and Mouse looked at Custard and gently shook his head. We need an engineer. Get me Mole. He's clever, said Rhubarb, and Custard held the bone phone while Mouse spoke. <sighs> Moggy Malone turned up and quavered at the size of the unbaked loaf. Rookie arrived and said, Caw. And while the birds made a din in the half swamped old cockatry, Poodle Princess made an entrance and announced the whole event as farcical, just as Moe dug his way out of what was left of the lawn and found himself sandwiched between everyone. Ah, Moe, said Rhubarb excitedly. But before he could go on, Moe's little eyes lit up at the sight of the alpine elf. Moe, Rhubarb went on. There's not a crust in this for you, but I beg you to use your engineering skills and make a molehill out of that mountain. Knees blowing up, said Mo, and everyone took a step back. Dynamite, 
swallowed rhubarb, thinking of his house. No, wait there, said Mole. He was gone. After everyone had waited nervously for what seemed longer than a usual bread-making wait, the muffled sound of a generator started up deep underground, and Mo appeared. That'll do it, he oh. chuckled. <laughs> now what? asked Rubar. We wait, said Mo, and everyone looked at everyone else as the dough got bigger and bigger. <laughs> Air agency, millions of bubbles. Any minute now, I'll have it fixed. Mole shouted over the noise of Rhubarb's ballooning house. Then... There she blows! Mole dug down, and the house went up. And it rained burnt toast for a week. Oh, crumbs, said Rhubarb. That takes the biscuit, sweet mouse. Tea, everyone. Afternoon tea, called Moggy Malone. Hot buttered scones, darling, added Poodle Princess. Better than sliced bread, said the <laughs> Everyone chuckled and tucked in. <laughs> Whiz, the home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz, that's how easy it is.